Hello dear role players, tired of character AI's filters, slow responses, or just plain boring replies? Well, Mistral just dropped a completely free model, Mistral 3.1, and it's ready to roleplay right now. No paywall, no filters, and a massive 96k context window that'll make character AI cry. Today, I'll show you how to plug Mistral 3.1 into a front end called chub.ai and get the smoothest, most vivid RP experience you've tried all week. Let's dive in. All right, now we'll need to do two quick things before connecting it all. First, open Google and type shoots. Click on create account, enter your username, and when it gives you a fingerprint, copy it and save it somewhere safe. It's basically your password. Once that's done, press continue to shoots. Now, inside shoots, press here for API. Click Create API Key, name it whatever you want, and copy the key once it's created. Now, head over to Open Router. In the top right corner, click Sign In, then press here to create a new account if you don't have one yet. Once you're in, hover over your profile icon in the top right corner, and in the drop-down menu, click Settings. Scroll down until you see Ignored Providers. In the box there, type Targon. Now on the left side menu, click Integrations. Scroll down until you find Shoots and click on it. Paste the same API key you got from Shoots earlier and make sure the checkboxes for Enabled and Always Use This Key are both turned on. Next, go to the Privacy tab and make sure to enable the option called Free Models. Finally, we'll create your Open Router API key. This is what we'll use to connect everything to chub.ai. In the left side menu, click on API Keys. Press Create Key, name it whatever you like, then press Create. Copy that key, save it somewhere safe, and you're ready for the next step. Now, head over to chub.ai. In the top right corner, press Sign In, and then click Register again in the top right to create your account. Once you've created your account, go to the search bar and type LLM Haven Mistral. This is a preset I specifically made for Mistral, though it works great with other models too. Click on the preset, then press on Prompt Structure and double check it matches what you see here in this video. Chub.ai occasionally deletes or modifies preset prompts for some reason. I'm honestly not sure why. If your prompt structure doesn't match the video exactly, don't worry. Just scroll up and copy the link provided. It'll lead you to some simple notes I made. You'll just need to copy and paste all three sections into your chub.ai prompt structure. It's very easy and quick. If your prompt structure matches perfectly already, just press here to activate it and confirm by clicking yes. Now, go back to the homepage and find any character you want to roleplay with. Enter the chat, then look to the top right corner for the three line icon. Press it to open a drop down menu. First, we'll add your API key from Open Router. Press on the second option, called Secrets. Click on Open AI and select My Own API Key. Repeat this step for Anthropic as well. Just select My Own API Key. Lastly, click on Open Router and paste in the Open Router API key you created earlier. Make sure it's the Open Router key, not your Shoots API key. Once that's done, press the X to exit the Secrets tab. Now, go back to the drop-down menu, and this time select the first option called Configuration. Inside Configuration, press on Prompt Structure. For API, make sure you select Open Router. For Model, carefully select Mistrali, Mistral, Small 3.124, Be Instruct, dot Free. Be sure it includes the free at the end. This ensures you're using the correct, free model. If your prehistory instructions, the system prompt, isn't already filled in like mine, just go to the notes link I provided earlier with the Mistral preset and copy-paste those prompts into the appropriate boxes. Next, scroll down to Generation Parameters. Set temperature somewhere between 0.75 to 0.9. Set repetition penalty to 1.2. Set Frequency Penalty to 1.0. Set Presence Penalty 
to 1.1, set top P to 0.95. For top K, set it at 40 or 80, based on your preference. If you're wondering what top K does, at 40, the model chooses from the top 40 most likely words, making responses predictable but stable. At 80, it selects from the top 80 words, creating more varied, dynamic replies. Personally, I prefer setting it at 80 for richer role play. Make sure to turn on the slider, named Trim Incomplete Sentences. For max new tokens, adjust this to your preference. If you want unlimited reply length, just set it to zero. Finally, context size is entirely up to you. Higher context means slower responses in long chats. I personally recommend 32K to 64K tokens, but if you want maximum memory, you can crank it all the way up to 96K. Save your settings and you're good to go. And that's it. Stay tuned for more tutorials, free LLM setups, and character AI alternatives. Make sure to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. See you in the next video. And as always, happy role-playing.